So why did the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation fund the Eleanor Chalimsky Forum on Theory and Practice in Evaluation? Uh, first, let me say a few words about Eleanor. Um, she, in the 1980s and 90s, was the pioneering director of program evaluation and methodology at the General Accountability Office in Washington. Uh, think about that for a minute. Um, a position requiring um, incredible political skill and understanding of, of people at the same time as it requires really uh, rigorous science as, as so far as you can do it within the constraints of really fast turnaround projects. Um, Eleanor uh, accomplished so much in that position, um, which uh, if you care to go back in time is partially recorded in um, a flabbergastingly good uh, article that appeared in Science about the use that was made of the evaluations done for the General Account Accountability Office under her leadership. Um, when they say evaluations aren't used, they need to read Eleanor's piece. Um, she also produced um, a remarkable uh, and mentored a remarkable generation of evaluators, some of whom are in this room. Uh, in fact, I would venture to say that Eleanor uh, often mentors people, including me, thank you very much, as sort of a by blow to her other, her other projects, sort of in passing some really important insights that I have treasured all my life. And finally, uh, the courage of her evaluations uh, needs to be mentioned. Uh, for example, in evaluating the cost and value of defense systems uh, for the United States. Now, words are inadequate, really, to describe Eleanor. I, I must uh, just ask you to go read uh, her work. Um, but we at Robert Wood Johnson funded this um, forum um, essentially because of what John read to you, that it seemed important to develop a forum where you could have theory informed practice on a sustained basis, where practice could challenge theory uh, on a sustained basis. And so often our conferences don't really lend themselves to that because there's a, a session in a dim room, you know, everybody nods and smiles, they may ask a question about methods and then they're on to the next thing. Um, that is not a way to build a field, in my opinion, or hers. Um, EERS seemed to be ideal for this purpose, specifically because it is a more intimate setting um, with a smaller group that lends itself to the kind of sustained discussion that we would like to have in this issue. Um, uh, now, I need to say that AEA, the American Evaluation Association, is um, now a participant on board. They, for example, have posted the videos of last year's conference, and now that we have a signed uh, memorandum of understanding, there we are hoping to have ongoing discussion um, for those who were unable to attend um, they could view the videos and then we could have one or perhaps two uh, sessions via webinar uh, before the next AEA convention. Um, with that, I would like to turn over the rest of time to our uh, esteemed speaker and thank you very much for your attention.